Hey everyone, I'm Jared from DJ Adventures. Thank you for clicking on this video. We finally gotten around to getting a video out to you guys, and we're gonna show you how to do the Starman logos on the bass drum heads for your Neil Peer set. My dad's gonna narrate this for you, so enjoy the process. So just a quick little history. We bought this set from someone who is actually in the uh, history of Rush, and so uh, we didn't want to change much about it. Uh, we don't want to put new heads on it. We want to keep it uh, just how it was. Um, you can see that the mufflers are put on the front heads. Uh, and I didn't want to take those off. So we're kind of just going to put them on as they were. I got the stickers a long time ago. And I ordered them too big. So I thought they would be perfect for this set. Now I'm using Windex. I'm not rubbing hard. But I'm just kind of making sure that it's dry and that it's clean. So the sticker will, will, uh, will stick well. Uh, so yeah, there's the sticker. You can see it's creased in two different places on the thirds of the, of the paper. Um, and they're old. They're a few years old. But like I said, we thought this would be a perfect, perfect place to use the stickers. Because the set's gold and the Starman are gold. So um, we thought that would be great. So... Um, we kind of centered it on the black head first, where we wanted it. Then we put the head that we're going to use on top of it. Jared's making sure that we're, uh, measurements are where he wants it. Now, in hindsight, I didn't realize that he was using the muffler for his point of reference. That's going to assume that the muffler is, is centered, and we did not check that. So, um, you know, turned out okay, but... Next time I would have went through there. Now we're putting the head on those straight lines. Or the tape, I'm sorry. We're putting the tape on those straight lines. And we're putting it on the outside of the head. So we only need to do those three for reference. Then we're going to take that head with the tape on the other side. Well, actually, first we got to do this. So first... Because these stickers are old and they, they've lost some of their stickiness, um, I'm just really going through and pushing it down to make sure that it's um, it's going to come off well. You see, I left a little dot from that ankle. I'm not concerned about that, but you see now, it that that part's not going with the um, the transparent part. So you got to kind of have to be ready for that. And you notice that I'm not pulling up towards the ceiling. I'm kind of rolling it away from itself. I found that that is sort of the trick for these, especially one this large. Okay, you gotta be really careful that it doesn't roll back up and stick to itself. Now Jared is in control here. I'm just keeping my end taut. Jared is the one who's steering it, lining up the lines and boom, he made contact. And then now, using a Neil Peart 747 drumstick, he's gonna roll that thing in. Now you'll notice that he gets to a certain point and then he stops. Right up here, I think. Well, he doesn't stop, but he, uh, he's, he's not pushing hard anymore. He's just kind of rolling it down. And that's because we saw these little bubbles sticking up. So before we give it the final push down, we are going through and just kind of uh, massaging those little uh, lifted parts out and now that they're all out now we can really rub the sticker onto the to the head now again you'll notice here I'm rolling it away I'm rolling it out away from itself I'm not pulling up if you pull up on it you're uh, you're running the risk of, of really messing with that sticker go we're in the clear a little crotali there now I've heard that called a crotali or a crotal what do you think it's called is it a crotali or is it a crot uh, crotal personally I always say crotali all right they were taking the tape off 
and essentially the head is done. I mean, that, that's really all there is to it. Now, um, <clears throat> typically we, like I said, we put these, uh, we put a zillion of these on, um, but we, but we, but we always put them on the inside of the drum head because we're always going to paint on the inside of the drum head and we paint over the sticker. We're not going to paint this one because we want to leave it uh, as is. We want the, the aesthetics to be exactly how it was, except to put proper uh, stickers on it, which is, is the Starman logo. Right here, you're only seeing a bass drum, but there is the full, complete drum set. Um, and it does have, you know, the Rogers mount for the 12 and all that good stuff. But there it is. That's, that's what it is. Got to put the drum back. There's the other bass drum we did earlier. All my, all my uh, <clears throat> Slingerland artist snares up there. Um, and that's it. Thank you, guys. And once again, sorry it took so long for us to get something out to you guys. We do have something we're working on as well. <laughs>